Get we'll, done. We'll start off at the, uh, the bat table with Jennifer. Hi, DeMarvin. Jennifer with the Battalion. How this is doing? the first shutout y'all have had since a 67-0 win over Prairie View A&M in 2016. What does that show about this defense? Uh, I would just say that it shows that we're trying to dial down on, you know, stopping the run, stopping the pass, and just having a complete game where, you know, that we're all locked in from the start and to the finish. Marvel go to the far right to Cole. DeMarvin, a couple of young guys made a couple uh, big-time plays. You had Edrin making the big play. You had a couple pass breakups from Deuce. You had a few plays from Tyreek. What does it mean to have young players be able to make a big impact on this defense? Um, you know, um, making plays, there's no age limit on making plays, especially in SEC. So it's the next man up. So just knowing that it's their time, you know what I'm saying, to step into that role and just to get after it, I'm just happy for them and just happy to know that like they have our backs as much as we have theirs. We'll go to TV Row to Mike from KAGS and then Daryl. Hey, DeMarvin, I got two for you real quick. After the first quarter against Colorado, this defense has completely shut down the run game against two opponents now. So what kind of change since week one where Kent State was able to get some sloppy yards off you guys? Um, I would say just paying attention to detail, you know, just fighting to have all, every single crumb that there is and just getting after it every single play. Uh, we haven't had a chance to talk to you yet, but uh, – after the Kent State game, Leon said his nickname for you was Medea. So, uh, Look. What's that about? No comment. <laughs> All right, let's go to Daryl Bruffett in the back. And then Owen. DeMarvin, can you talk about the confidence that this defense will take into the Arkansas game next week and how important it is with the ability that they are able to move the football and be as physical as they always seem to be? Confidence is definitely going to be the key. You know, first SEC game of the year is definitely going to be lots of craziness going on. So just being able to dial down and just get after it is going to be the biggest key. In the middle, Owen from Texags, and then Travis. Yeah, DeMarvin, um, coach seemed kind of frustrated with the offensive line and talked about they need the shows, you know, be nasty, I think is actually a word he used. Now, you go against those guys. Have you ever felt like uh, that's an element that – those guys uh, lack? I wouldn't say lack, you know. Being, again, it starts with the attention to detail and just wanting to get after it every single play, starting the game fast and fin finishing it strong. So I feel like, you know, there's certain things that the offense has to fix and definitely will help try to, you know, be encouraging them to fix it. You have some nasty offensive line? Oh, yeah, no question. Who's nasty? All of them. So to Travis right here in front. I know Coach said uh, the on on the whole he said the team was kind of average today. I know the stats say y'all did good. How would you kind of rate just the defensive side of the ball's performance today? I say it was okay. This is the beginning, it's the start of the of us rising as a whole. You know, it was a complete game, but we're we're all on the same page. We started the game fast, finished it strong. Doesn't doesn't matter who was in the game. So I say that's just, you know, first improvement. Let's go to the far right to Cole, and we'll finish with Brent. DeMarvin, I know that you've been trying to, you know, come up with a nickname for this defense. You didn't want to be Wrecking Crew 2.0. Have you guys finally come up with that name? And if so, what are you guys calling yourselves? Look, got to keep it under wraps. It's not that time yet. Y'all know when it's time. All right, we'll finish up with Brent in the middle. So the nickname is under wraps? Is that <laughs> nah, nah, nah. So it's unknown. So one of the ways you said you need to encourage the offensive line is one of the ways to encourage them to get after their, their high knees during the week. Is that no question. That, that's part of it, you know. And then also, you know, when when coach yells at them, just uh, encourage them through that time as well. Just make sure like after practice, we talk to each other, see, what, uh, see why they did that, why, what they saw, you know, like me and Kenny Green, we talk all the time, you know, just what did you see on this rush? What did you see at this play? And just tell me not to him, you know, we just conversate, so stuff like that. Thank you. No problem. Right, Thank you.